one more announcement uh, real quick. Uh, Brother Rick just let me know that um, they looked at Brianna, did x-rays, nothing's broken. Praise the Lord. Uh, but, uh, were they doing, doing stitches? No stitches. No stitches. Give her okay. for pain and, and they're going to go from there. All right. So let's just thank we'll the Lord for that. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just touch, touch Brianna. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. If you have your Bibles, let's turn to the book of Exodus, chapter 10. Exodus, chapter 10. Praise the Lord. If you preach with me tonight, we will try and not hold you very long. We'll Praise, Praise God the Lord. Hallelujah. Brother Rick's already on it. Ooh, <laughs> how many points, brother? How many points? I've got three points. Three. All right. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Exodus, chapter 10. Tonight, verse 24. We will start there. Praise the Lord. Amen. When you there, go ahead and say amen. amen. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Verse 24. The Bible says this. And Pharaoh called unto Moses and said, Go ye, serve the Lord. I mean, that doesn't sound like something Pharaoh will say. Huh? <laughs> go ye, serve the Lord, Moses. Go ye, live for God. Go. And leave here, you're free to go, just go and serve the Lord. Oh, uh, how many know the devil don't talk that way to you? But, uh, but there's always something under the sleeve of the devil. There's always a, a hidden thing that the devil tries to talk to you and I with. Go ye, serve the Lord. Only let your flocks and your herds be stayed. Come on. Let your little ones also go with you. I mean, you know, Pharaoh didn't want to take care of the babies. He didn't want to take care of the little children. Praise God. Take them with you, but leave your flocks and your herds here with us. Uh, and Moses said, Thou must give us also sacrifices and burnt offerings that we may sacrifice unto the Lord our God. Our cattle also shall go with us. There shall not a hoof be left behind. For therefore must we take you to serve the Lord our God. And we know not with what we must serve the Lord until we come thither. Praise the Lord. I want to preach it here tonight just on this spot real quickly on don't leave it here. Don't leave it here. Let's pray. Father, we love you. We praise you. We thank you, God, for your love, your mercy, your grace. And God, I pray that you would help us tonight. In Jesus' wonderful mighty name. And everybody said amen, amen. and amen. I, I don't know if you're like me, but I, I lose stuff constantly. I, I've left my Bibles at churches. I, I, I've left my keys at uh, places. One time I didn't have the, uh, my set of keys for a whole year because I could not find it. I thought I left it in Oklahoma, came back the next year, realized I didn't leave it there. I looked underneath the, the seat of my truck and sure enough, it was right there all year long. And so I got smart now. I got one of those tile things that hook onto your key rings and, and I, I can press a button from my phone and it'll start alerting my key. How many need one of those? Huh? Uh, because you can't find your keys, you can't find your wallet. I'm constantly leaving something behind. I haven't left my children behind yet. I haven't left Rachel behind yet. Uh, uh, but you know what? One day I, one day I might leave a little off there somewhere. I don't know. But, uh, but I'm always leaving something. I, I'm always forgetting something. Uh, can I tell you, in this day and hour, this is Father's Day. And I mean, what we need in America is some godly fathers. What we need in America for some men to be men once again. Huh? Praise God. Uh, for some men to serve the Lord. Uh, you can say it like this. For a man to have a firearm in one arm uh, and a Bible in the other. Praise God. Uh, uh, we need some men in America today that will live for God, that will raise their family in the house of the Lord. Uh, but not only that, but that will live for God when they're home. Uh, that will live and serve God when they step out of the church walls uh, and they're out in the world working uh, when they've stepped into their own home, uh, that they would live for God and serve God. You know what our problem is in church? Uh, we are somebody else in here than we are out there. We are totally different than what we are in here than we are at home. Uh, in 
It's like we come to church and we can feel the, the glory of God. We can sense the presence of the Lord. Brother Rick shouting, Brother William, Pastor William shouting. All the other brothers and sisters are praising God. Ah, oh, but we we'll lift our hands. Sometimes we might cry and sometimes we might clap our hands and sometimes we might sing to the Lord. Oh, but where do we leave it at? Our problem is we've left it in church for far too long. Yeah. We have left uh, of being a Christian inside the four walls uh, for far too long. But it is time uh, that we take it home with yeah. us. I said it's time we take it home with us. Uh, the Bible said here this was uh, one of the final plagues. Darkness uh, hit the earth. Uh, Moses came. God uh, told him, go to Pharaoh. Tell him, uh, let my people go. The Bible said that there was a thick darkness, a darkness that could be felt. Oh, but Moses came, let my people go. And Pharaoh gets to the point where he says, all right, fine, go, serve the Lord, uh, but don't take your cattle with you. I have it that sounds just like the devil, huh? Oh, man. Go ahead, serve the Lord, but don't live for God at home, okay? Go ahead, have a good service on Sunday night, uh, but make sure you leave it there, okay? Don't take it home with you. Don't take it anywhere with you, but make sure you can pick it. You know what, brothers? We leave it here to pick it back up on Sunday. Praise the Lord. Oh, man. Maybe we'll come back Wednesday night. Uh, we're looking for our, our spiritualness on the pew we sit at or the seat we sit at every single time we come to church. But the problem is uh, what we live in here, uh, how we leave it here. Huh? And we go, we're totally different when we march outside. And I believe tonight the challenge is this, uh, that you and I, uh, what we are in here, how we live it, how we worship God in here. Maybe worship Him as we're driving down the street. Uh, maybe with our eyes open, though. Praise God. Uh, how we how we sing to the Lord in here. May we sing to Him out there. Praise God. How we live for God in here. Uh, how we serve God in here. May we take it with us when we leave. The devil does not care how we worship God in here. As long as we're confined to this building. But he is trying to tell us. I said he's trying to tell us. Make sure you leave it there. Don't take it with you. Good preacher. And I tell you, it's never good when Pharaoh is telling Moses how to serve God. Come on. Go ye, serve the Lord. I tell you this, the devil's never going to tell you to serve God. The devil's never going to tell you to serve the Lord. He just doesn't work that way. And if he does, somehow, some way, you must know there is something behind it. Oh, it will always come out with this. The Bible said, go, serve you the Lord. Oh, but notice that next word. It says, only let, oh, only let your flocks and your herds be stayed. Oh, you can take a little bit home, but make sure you don't take it all home. Leave something right here. To leave something right here. Really, in all honesty, Pharaoh, what he was trying to do, he was, he was saying, all right, go. Be free. You're free to go. Oh, but yet he was always trying to hold on to something. He was always trying to hold on with a, with a string attached. Oh, can I tell you, that's how the devil works. I said, that's how the devil works. Go ahead and have your service in here. But it seems like he's always trying to have that string attached to our life. I believe tonight God's looking for somebody that will take it home. Praise God. I said, God's looking for somebody that will take it home. Take it home with me. Praise God. I have not remember being in school before and, and you lost something. What happened to that thing? Uh, the teachers just didn't throw it away. The janitors just didn't throw it in the trash can. But they would put it in something called the lost and found. Oh, man. How many were so poor you went shopping at the lost and found? Praise God. Oh, man. New hat, new shoes, no, new shirt. Often the lost and found. Uh, it was kids uh, uh, that missed 
misplaced something. Isn't it funny? We never misplace uh, things that are valuable to us, at least what we think. Uh, praise God. Uh, we're pretty careful about those things. Uh, pretty careful about those items. Uh, uh, to be careful huh, with those things because they are valuable uh, to you and I. Uh, uh, oh, hallelujah. Church, uh, can I tell us here tonight, uh, God has given us something valuable. I said God has given us something yeah. valuable. God was wanting to give. Uh, come on, church. God was wanting to give uh, all of Israel freedom. How you are free in Christ here tonight? Uh, I said you are free in Christ here tonight. Uh, how you can honestly say, uh, oh, you are totally different than what you were 15 years ago. Uh, uh, how you can totally say here tonight that you have been changed and delivered by the power of God. I love this story because it lets me know this. Oh God sent darkness. God sent plagues. God sent frogs. God sent light. God sent all of this stuff. He went through great depths to deliver Israel. Aren't you glad for the love of God that he went through great depths to deliver you and to set you free and to help your life. You are saved because there was a great father, a good father up in heaven that loved you enough. He didn't care how in bondage you were. He wasn't scared off by how much trouble you were in. He didn't care about how much sin you had run up on your life's bill. Oh, but there was a loving Savior. I said there was a loving Savior who went through great Thank you, Lord. Can you imagine it? I remember growing up and, 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 and seven standard dad, he would he, he would find earrings sometimes. And he put the one earring on the bulletin board with a thumb tap. And that one earring would stay there for two years. And it's like, Dad, nobody's gonna claim the earring. Let's just throw it away. You know, uh, uh, everything the lost and found was kind of like that bulletin board. But can you imagine? I don't know what, what my brother has here. I don't know if he has a lost and found box here. But, but can you imagine? Uh, can you imagine all the things that's been left here at this church, at, at this building? Can you imagine? Uh, uh, we looked uh, and had a spiritual lost and found box. Uh, you can look inside of it. Uh, man, you can probably see uh, uh, somebody's deliverance uh, uh, from 2019. Uh, uh, they got prayed for in a service. God wanted to set them free. God tried to change their life. Oh, but the problem was when they walked out the door, they left their deliverance inside. Oh, if you can look at the lost and found, man, you can probably see salvations from 2020, even during COVID. Salvations during 2020 and that spiritual lost and found. And it boggles my mind. Oh, where people can come and get prayed for. Whether they can get, get prayed for, anointed with oil. Oh, ask Jesus to come into their life. Oh, but now, you don't see them in the house of God anymore. They don't come to the house of the, of the Lord anymore. It's like they left their salvation here and never took it with them out there. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, but had it lived up here today. So you know what? I'm taking it all with me. Praise God. I'm not leaving anything behind. If I'm delivered in here, then I'm delivered out there. If I'm saved in here, then I'm saved out there. If I'm filled with the Spirit in here, then I'm filled with the Spirit out there. Don't leave it here. Take it with you. Hallelujah. So take it with you. The spiritual lost and found. I tell you, the devil will. Always negotiate with you. That's right. The devil will always negotiate with you. Go serve the Lord, but leave your cow here. Leave it here. Serve the Lord, but still be bound by things. Serve the Lord, but uh, but don't be totally faithful. Serve the Lord, uh, but kind of just be on the bench. Serve the Lord, uh, but don't just do everything the Bible way. Serve the Lord. Oh, I tell you, if the devil's telling us how to live a Christian life, then that's not really a Christian life. Huh? Oh, praise God. Moses understood it, that the devil's plan or Pharaoh's plan was not to 
the right plan for them. Oh, Moses understood. We can leave here and leave the cattle behind. Oh, but yet there will always be a string attached. Oh, no matter how far it seems we get, we're always attached to Egypt. They always have a little hold upon us. Aren't you glad for the times that were cut when you gave your life to God? You said no strings attached. It's all over. I'm done with the word. I'm done. I'm done. Hallelujah. And you got set free by that great deliverance. Can I tell you tonight, church? Don't leave it here. Praise God. I said, don't leave it here. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 said it like this. The hardest thing about a living sacrifice is that they keep crawling off the altar. <laughs> Praise God. That's good. Don't leave it here. Amen. Verse 26, and I'm almost done. Somebody say, Praise the Lord. He's going to read it up tonight. How? Uh, verse 26, our cattle also shall go with us, and there shall not hurt be left behind. Oh, is that your prayer here tonight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Devil, I don't care what you're trying to hold on to. Devil, I don't care how you're trying to convince me. Devil, I don't care. Uh, there's not going to be one hurt left behind yeah, yeah. to the smallest of small things. We're leaving. Hallelujah. To the smallest of small things. We've been delivered and set free. To the smallest of small things. We have been freed by the power yeah. of I said, we're not leaving it. I like this, and this stood out to me, church. Moses said it like this. Oh, we need the cattle. We need sacrifices. We need offerings to serve the Lord. He didn't know how long they were going to be gone, how far they were going to go. But he understood this. He had to live for God. He had to serve the Lord. He had to worship God. So he needed help. He needed provision. Oh, that he could go out and serve the Lord. He wanted to make sure that he took something with him that would help him serve the Lord. Oh, man. Can I tell you this? I know we have our Bibles everywhere today. I understand that. So I'm not throwing rocks, but spiritually, two at a time, church, let's be honest, we leave our spiritual Bible here at the church far too long. Oh, man. How do people leave their physical Bible at the church? I understand that we got Bibles on our phones, our iPad, we got Bibles everywhere. 10 to 12 at home, I understand that. But spiritually, it's the only time you read your Bible in church. May the Lord help us, huh? I said, may the Lord help us. Oh, hallelujah. It's the only time oh, that we pray is it in the house of God. May the Lord help us. I said, may the Lord yeah. help us. May we take something tonight that will help us serve him. I said, may we take something tonight that will help us serve the Lord. Hallelujah. I don't advise you stealing this altar from the front, but I do want to encourage you. Take a spiritual altar with you home. I said, take a spiritual altar with you home. Don't leave it in the house of God, but make it home tonight. Don't leave it here. Amen. I said, don't leave it here. How many looked up here tonight? Say, Lord, I don't want to leave it here. I got to take it home. I got to take it home. Stand to your feet all over this place. I told you. I told you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, don't leave it here. Help us, Father. Help us, Father. In the name of Jesus. In the name Jesus, help us, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can I tell you, fathers, let's not leave it here. Come on. So let's not leave it here. Let's serve them at home. Mothers, let's not leave it here. Let's not leave it here. You, young people, let's not leave it here. Let's take it home with us. Let's serve God everywhere we go. Let's live for the Lord everywhere we go. There was a father one time. He, he 
He's a great author. Wrote a lot of books about trust and how to raise families and how to raise children. This boy was standing before a judge one day about to be sentenced going to prison. The judge looked at the boy and said, do you remember your father? He said, yes, sir, I remember my father. He said, your father wrote books about how to raise a family. Your father wrote books on how to trust people. He said, that son looked at the judge and said, what I remember about my father is this. Going up to him as a little kid, saying, Dad, can you help me with this? Dad, I want to spend time with you. He said, I remember my dad looking at me and saying, go away, I don't have time. He said, he finished the books. He said, look at my life. Let's take it home with us, huh? So let's take it home with us. Let's take it home with us. Hallelujah. Let's take it home with us. Hallelujah. Hey, let's take it home. Have me lift up your hand tonight and see you. I'm taking deliverance home with me. Praise God. I've been delivered. I'm not only delivered in here. I'm delivered out there. Praise God. Have me lift up your hand. See, I'm taking salvation home with me. Well, I've been freed. I've been set free. I've been saved. Oh, but I'm not only saved in here. There's not a hook going to be left behind tonight. I'm taking it home with me. Have you lift up your hands and say, I'm going to be Pentecostal in here, and I'm going to be Pentecostal out there. Oh, not a hook is going to be left behind. I said, not a hook is going to be left behind. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Have you lift up your hand one last time. Say, God help me. God help me. God help me to live it out there. Hey, here. Praise the Lord. I know we prayed for some already, but is there somebody tonight that just needs prayer? I want to pray with you tonight. You want the Lord to help you to live what you live in here out there. I want you to come. Hallelujah. Come on. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. I know we prayed for some, but you just want strength to live what you have in here out there. God wants to help us. God wants to help us. Don't leave it here. Don't some prayer warriors to come. Help me pray for these. Oh, but everybody, come on, let's find a place to pray tonight in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Don't leave it here. Help us, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, in the name of Jesus.
communion with you, eat with you. Praise the Lord. So uh, let's bring them home with us. Wonderful word, Aaron. Good job. Praise the Lord. Appreciate these younger ministers. Amen. <laughs> I'll say this and then I'll shut up. Whenever I was like 15 years old, I thought I was just a hot shot preacher. <laughs> and uh, I started preaching first. And then Aaron and Derek started preaching and, and a few others in the church. One time I get up there behind the pulpit and I just, I just thank God. I'm 15, by the way. I thank God for what he's doing to these younger ministers. <laughs> He's, they've never let me forget that. <laughs> but I uh, love Aaron and, and, and Rachel and uh, Othniel. Good song, dude. Keep it up. <laughs> and uh, Elisha. Amen. Amen. Good job. When's he going to start singing? When he starts talking. About <laughs> Praise the Lord. But... Uh, Continue to pray for one another. Uh, we thank God that it wasn't more that it wasn't more serious for Sister Brianna. Uh, but be praying for her. Lord, just touch touch that little sweetheart and uh, continue to pray for uh, Brother Louis about a situation and that he just needs the Lord to intervene for him. And uh, I'll tell you, God's in control. Yeah, God's in control. We love Brother Louis. Appreciate him very much. Remember Wednesday night. Come respect him. A wonderful time in the Lord. Once again, happy Father's Day. Amen. Praise the Lord. Right. Yeah, let us, uh, and it was good to see uh, Brother Walter here tonight. Lord bless you. Amen. He was looking at Walter like, what's this guy going to shut this thing down? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Amen. But not really. Amen. <laughs> I'm just kidding, brother. Let's pray. Father, we love you. We thank you for this awesome time we've had tonight. Lord, we've, man, we through a lot of stuff with poor Brianna.